Hi, I'm Shelby with Modern Times Van Co. and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of our latest van build. So this build is on a 2021 144 Mercedes Sprinter. This is the 4x4 model as well. And this van is actually listed for sale. So we'll have the listing linked in the description as well. Um, we'll get to the exterior a little bit later, but for now, come on in. So our main goal when designing this van, we wanted to fit every luxury you would need to be comfortable while fitting it into the compact 144 wheelbase. So up in the front here, we have our dual swivel seats. These are leather seats as well, and they're actually heated, which is really nice. We have our lagoon table here. So this front area seats three to four people comfortably. It's nice to have a little lounge space in a van where everyone can hang out. And this space we designed to act as an office area. So we have the desk here that swivels around. We have an outlet on the side of the bench here. We also have this reading light. So this light is dimmable. It moves around and it also has a USB port so that you can charge your phone here. So behind me, we have a window as well. So we framed this out, has a nice little window sill. It really just tops off the office space so you can have a view whenever you're sitting here working on your computer. And then behind me, this is one of my favorite design features of the van. We chose to do a micro slatted white oak wall and you'll see the white oak carries up into the ceiling as well. I really like this because the white oak brings so much warmth to the van, makes it feel really cozy in here. When designing vans, we like to make each area multi-purpose as much as we can. So this bench here actually has a seatbelt so that a third passenger can travel safely back here. This bench also is on heavy duty slides, so it pulls out there's little legs that you attach and it flips down and it forms a secondary sleeping area, which is perfect for anyone who's traveling with you or a child. So the full length on that bed is five feet long. So up here we have our headliner shelf, which is really nice to maximize the storage space. We like to store bedding, pillows, window covers up here, and we also upholstered the bottom with this nice pleather fabric to match the interior of the cab. So that looks pretty seamless. More on the storage over here, we have two upper cabinets here and all of our cabinetry is on gas struts with heavy duty magnets so that it won't open up when you're driving. We have more storage in the bench as well. We have two additional drawers down here. This acts as a dresser. So we covered the outlet that's back in the office area, but we also have an outlet here for the kitchen area. So this has 120 volt plugs, USB and type C. So you can charge any type of device here. We also have a little cubby down here for storing shoes or anything extra you may be carrying around. It's nice to just have any extra little storage compartments. And down on this side, we have our diesel heater display. So this here turns on the diesel heater and the air blows out of here. So this taps right into your diesel tank. You don't have to fill it up or do anything. You just press the on button. You can run it all night and it will keep you super cozy in the winter. All right, so over here we have our kitchen unit. For the countertops, we chose to do solid surface. We really like working with solid surface because it's durable for the vans. It looks like stone, but it wears a lot better. So we have a little pop-up countertop here. This really maximizes the workspace that you have. And then you'll see we also have the sink cut out here. So you can just easily move your faucet to the side. Now you have all this area to prep your food. So here we have our 
two burner induction cooktop and this is flush mounted into the countertop looks really sleek over here we have our sink i believe the sink is 15 by 17 it's really deep as well it's in a nice gunmetal color and we have our matte black faucet so as for storage in the kitchen we have this drawer here that would make for a nice silverware drawer all of these cabinets down here also have the locking mechanism so they won't open when you're driving and we opted to use these sleek um, matte black low profile poles so they're pretty out of the way you're never gonna bump into them and underneath the sink we have wide open storage down here as well and we also have our water heater timer switch so we like putting those in the van because you don't need to go to the back to turn on your water heater you just turn that dial to however long you need to use the water and it will shut off for you when the timer's up so down here we have our 12 volt dometic crx 1080 fridge and freezer 2.6 cubic feet in here and it's nice to have a place for ice cream and ice to go in there as well so over here we have our control panel this is where you'll find all of the switches for the van as well as information about the water and the batteries so up top here we have our inverter switch this turns on all of the 120 volt power in the van and it allows the outlets and the stove to work here we have our three zones of lighting. We really like to have three different zones all on dimmer switches so that you can set an ambiance for any time of the day. We have our overhead lighting, our under cabinet lighting, and our toe kick lighting as well. Then here we have our water pump switch. So this turns on your water. We have our water tank level. So this tells you how much water you have in your tank without having to go back in the garage and check. And then we have our Victron battery monitor. So this here will tell you the voltage of your batteries and how much batteries you have left. And then right above the sink, we chose to do this open bookshelf. We really like incorporating these so that when you're at the sink, you're not hitting your head. It really makes this space feel nice and open and you can store decor and books and stuff like that. So we really like incorporating these into the van. And also having the light underneath, it's a really nice design feature. So over here we have our full-size shower. So this is definitely a luxury to have, especially in the smaller wheelbases. But this is something that we like to incorporate just so that if you're traveling with someone, you can have some privacy when you're using the bathroom. And it just also makes it a lot easier to rinse off. So we have our light switch up here. This controls the overhead lighting and the shower. We have our tile accent wall here, some nice hexagons. So since this is a four x four van and we assume it will be off-roaded, we chose to do flexible PVC tiles so that they'll never crack or fall off. So these aren't going anywhere. And then up here, we have our detachable Delta shower head. This has a couple of different settings and it's nice. It has this little magnetic dock so that you can take it off, use it, put it right back up. And that's in the same nice matte black finish. We like to use that finish throughout the van. And last but not least for the shower, the shower also houses our cassette toilet. So you can choose to leave it in when you're showering, but it's also super easy to be moved out as well since they're pretty light. We also always like to incorporate a Nautilus door in our showers because they take up no space, they're self-cleaning, retractable. They make for a really clean look. So we have that here and we also framed out the shower with this nice archway. I think it gives it a really nice touch and just fits the space really nicely in here. All right, so back here we have our fixed bed. This is almost a queen size bed. And this is a five inch memory foam mattress. So we created these upholstered bump outs here to really maximize the sleeping width. So since we created these, the sleeping width is now six feet. So someone who is six foot could comfortably sleep here. Overhead of the sleeping area, we created this modern nightlight. We figured a nightlight overhead is perfect. 
we have the dimmer switch right here so that when you're laying in bed at night, you can have a nice reading light without having to get up and turn off all of your other overhead lights at night. Over top of me here, we have our Dometic RTX 2000. This is a 12 volt rooftop AC. It is a super low power draw and it works super well. We're located in Florida, so you definitely need one of these and it's super nice to have in your van. So this will definitely keep you cozy wherever you're traveling. <laughs> and as you can see, we have two rows of cabinetry as well. So a ton of storage back here. Just really nice to have, store all your clothes, all your belongings. These are all on the gas struts as well with the magnets. So there's no shortage of storage in this van. So in the sleeping area, we did not forget about the windows back here. So rather than doing fixed glass on the rear windows, we chose to do these windows that slide open here for ventilation. So you can slide open the glass. You can also slide open the bug screen there. So these will create a really nice airflow at night with your max air fan. It will pull the air through if you ever don't want to use your AC. So we also chose to do dark door panels back here just to make the bedroom area feel a little bit more cozy rather than bringing the white all the way back through. I really like how it just kind of closes this off. And then you have two windowsills here as well, which is nice to just put your phone on at night. All right, so moving on to the back of the van, we have our spacious garage area here. This side over here houses our electrical bay. We have 680 amp hours of lithium power in this van paired with a 3000 watt inverter. We have our solar charge controller here, which links up with the solar up on the roof. We have 350 watts of solar on this van. And then we also have our 60 amp alternator charger. So with all of these things combined, this van is always gonna have plenty of charge. But in case you ever do need to plug in, we do have a shore power charger as well, but none of our clients normally ever need to plug in. These vans are pretty much made to be off-grid for as long as you want them to be off-grid. So over on this side, this is where all of our water components are housed. We have a 30 gallon freshwater tank. We also have our two and a half gallon electric water heater there. Like I said, the switch is up front, so you never have to come back here and turn it on. And then we also have an outdoor shower there, which is super nice if you ever just wanna hose off out here without getting into the van. You can just rinse off your feet, rinse off your pets. Um, another few cool things that we have back here, we actually have two outlets. So we have an outlet over on this side. We also have an outlet over here. So if you ever have any toys down here that need to be charged, you can just plug them right in. You don't have to run a cord all throughout the van, which is a really nice feature. We also have our water fill port here, right on the side of the bed. And then over on this side, we have a light switch. So this is our garage light. You flick that on at night. It illuminates the entire garage, which is a really nice feature so that you could see everything that's down here. You don't have to be fumbling around with a flashlight. So we really tried to cover all the bases with this garage. So that pretty much wraps up the garage area. We just wanted to make this garage as spacious and open as possible so you can fit all of your necessities back here. We wanted to incorporate the outlets and the lights just so it's super user friendly. All right, so moving on to the exterior of this van. So this van is painted in a super awesome blue color, which is nice to something different than the white that they come in. Um, we also have flatline Vanco side steps. So the four x four vans are a lot taller. So it's nice to have some help getting up into these vans. As for the tires and the wheels, we have BFG all-terrain tires with method wheels. Up top, we have our flatline Vanco low profile roof rack and a side ladder. 
so that you can get up there, access your solar, clean it off, hang out on the roof. Well, that wraps up our van tour today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about this van or would like to get in contact with us, our information will be in the description below. See you next time.